there are some misguided misconceptions that has no theoretical basis but have very good popular appeal that can derail the sustainability of our country as a nation and that can put us on a path that leads to short-term glory that I can very well say I can pursue and maybe bring in 70% because it brings short-term glory two and a half years away from the election. But that is not the type of government and type of country we want to build. We want to build a country that is very deliberate in the architecture that we are building for macroeconomic stability, for resilience, for sustainability, and to ensure continuous growth and development. That is key. How do we, in the next eight years, lay the foundation that will build the economy that will perform in a world 2030 and beyond that will be very much different from what we see today and still be able to compete globally and be a leader in a number of areas. And what the president is trying to do is to break away from the routine. And the routine has been that the private sector comes with a list of tax measures, reduction. I just actually just passed the document that came from the Private Sector Commission and predictably of the 23 measures here, 17 are to reduce taxes. I see Fitug and the others, the, and they want to increase wages and salaries. Outside of that, we get very little contribution on frameworks and the variables that you and government and sometimes there are co co common variables that we all need to take into account in our planning process and today this is an attempt to get you in the private sector and in you know, the maybe some of the opinion makers here in the country to have an enhanced focus on what those variables are. 